The company we're about to talk to believe there's a better way to transport data around a vehicle. Today's cars are getting increasingly complex to the point that a so-called zonal architecture is the clear move forward for supporting all of these additional interfaces. But what actually is a zonal architecture? And what are they selling that's gonna make it work? And what's actually wrong with traditional inter-vehicle communication? Join me today to cut through the noise on IP Exchange and give a very warm welcome to Richard from Ethanovia. Richard, thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. Thanks for having me, Ellis. Look, okay, let's just start from day dot. What is wrong with current inter-vehicle communication? Whoa, 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 hold there. Only 12% of you are subscribed. Do yourself a favor and subscribe for daily engineering content. All right. So the problem today that all the OEMs have is that they have a legacy of 20 or 30 years of a mishmash of different network topologies. So you have CAN, you have LIN, you have MOST, you have FlexRay. All these different legacy technologies have to be supported today and it involves mm -hmm. proper processors to support them, different network protocols. That's the problem that we have today that we're trying to move away from as we move towards a zonal network, service-oriented architecture and a homogenous Ethernet network. So Ethernet Right. So you say a zonal architecture, is, is that sort of a new term in automotive? It's, it's new in terms of how the public see it, but it's been something that's been mm -hmm. worked for a number of years. So you have to understand that in the automotive world, um, a lot of research happens uh, below the veils, but to actually launch a new network platform, new network service oriented technology, then um, a lot of work has to happen over a number of years. So for a lot of years, the OEMs have been looking at how this network topology could be improved. And the move to zonal networks is now just starting to happen in a lot of OEMs, both US, America and uh, China, Japan, and Korea. So everyone's looking at zonal networks as a solution to the legacy network interconnect problem. Right. So what, what was actually physically wrong with the, the old legacy network? Was it sort of the, the complexity of having too many legacy, legacy systems interacting? Is, is that what zonal architecture is looking to, uh, to assist and fix? It's one of the things. So if you have a, you look at the, the picture of a, a legacy network, you have all these different wiring connectivity points between different nodes. So a LIN network would have its own wiring connections, a CAM would have its own, even some of the Ethernet instantiations that you've seen on some of the uh, some of the current platforms. And Ethernet's been in vehicles for a long time, but not in a zonal way. So there's Ethernet, mm -hmm. uh, there's FlexRay, there's most, and all these need to have their own, uh, their own element of a wiring harness. So if you can combine those different connectivity options into a single Ethernet connection, then uh, you're achieving a lot because you're you're reducing the complexity of the wiring harness. So routing wiring harnesses in vehicles is still a, a fairly manual process. You're also reducing the weight of the vehicle. So you have the advantage of Ethernet end-to-end, -end, fewer connectivity options, so improved reliability. Um, so a lot of, lot of options there that help the OEM to achieve services and reliability and quality of service that they need to have for these next generation services. Fantastic. So you're working for a company, Ethernovia. Um, what, what actually is your product? I figure you're not selling a zonal architecture. What, what is the product that you're selling? Yeah, I'd say we're supporting the idea of a zonal architecture and the OEMs are defining what that looks like. So every OEM will have their own unique picture with some tweaks on what a zone is or zonal network is. In terms of the number of zones, mm -hmm. activity between them, where the the compute elements sit in that. What we have is a family of roadmap of parts that have an automotive focus from day one. Um, we have a, a TSMC fab corridor for seven nanometers, so extremely low power. Um, we support FIs, so physical layer interfaces. We have mm -hmm. a that has automotive switching in it and, and different network processors. So if you look at the website, then we have some pretty high level pictures of where we sit, but we're enabling the full zonal platform to be supported by a physical interface that's uh, that's Ethernet and for that data to be uh, managed and processed in a, an Ethernet way. So that's that's what we provide. Right. So what what is the sort of biggest technical leap forward that you feel that this 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 transceiver showcases? 
what we have is a, a 10 gig uh, Ethernet single pair transceiver. So uh, single pair Ethernet transmit receive working at 10 gig rates. Um, and that's significant because you look at how that's deployed in consumer electronics at the moment, it's multi-pair Ethernet. Um, if you could take out three of the pairs, work on a single pair, have very low power and start to add some unique features to the front end, then you have a pretty, uh, a pretty good technology to promote to the, to the OEMs. The low power, the 10 gig multi-gig support, the addition of one gig support for legacy connections is something that we do that's ringing bells with the OEMs. They could deploy a part that has our Phi in it that supports a one gig legacy connection, but then with a change at one end, you could actually mm -hmm. support multi gig routes. And multi gig Ethernet is 2.5, 5, 10 gig. Not every OEM has a platform that has services that needs 10 gig. Some of them need 2.5 gig. And we can support that with one video. Amazing. Richard, thank you very much for joining us. Everyone, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, and stay disruptive.